Hello YouTube, the Moderate Gamer here, Mitchell from the Moderate Gamer, bringing you a brand new Mario series. And the first question you're gonna ask myself is, how am I posing my hands and having the game play over that way? Yeah, over that way on the screen. I'll tell you how. I actually pre-recorded the gameplay prior to adding the face cam. It made it a lot easier because I couldn't do um, an emulator. The emulator was not working. I tried everything in my power. I just don't think my PC is powerful enough to do a uh, 3DS emulator, sadly. So this is the way I had to end up uh, actually doing it. So hopefully you guys will understand that as you'll watch my gameplay of Super Mario 3D Land. This is the playthrough that we are going to do. Actually, I might just go ahead and remove my glasses because I don't really usually like that glare. Let me know if you like it with or without the glasses. Let me know in the comments down below. I kind of would like to know. Um, yeah, we're going to watch my playthrough of Super Mario 3D Land. You're going to watch it via my 3DS. You'll see the screen that's right here below or to my uh, right or whatever left, whatever the mirror image is. Uh, says, but yeah, we're going to watch our game, my gameplay of me playing through uh, at least the first world of Super Mario 3D Land. I'm going to make each episode a world. So, so one's going to be World 1, Episode 2 will be World 2, so on and so forth until we beat the majority of the world. Um, my main thing is going to be trying to uh, do as much into this game as I can, similar to how I did Super Mario uh, Land 2 and the Six Golden Coins, where I try to do as much as I can. Uh, with a few little workarounds because I don't know all the hidden areas, all the um, other cool stuff, and things like that. So, uh, as much as I can show you of this game, I will do so. Um, I might look up some hints here and there via websites and all that. So we're going to go ahead and watch the cutscene right now of the beginning of Super Mario 3 Game Land. You'll see it here. No, I'm sorry for glares and all that. I was just trying to make it work. You'll see actually my camera in the focus right now of uh, me filming my gameplay as I went to a darker area so that way it would um, show a lot crisper and um, smoother than what it does for right now. Um, maybe let's have a glare as well. But the beginning story, in case no one has ever seen 3D Land, I highly recommend playing this game. Very fun, very uh, addicting for sure. As we see now, Bowser has indeed been that peach. I can't believe he grabbed her. It's unbelievable. I've never seen a game like <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 and let that all run through. And you'll obviously see me uh, going on World 1. I'll miss a couple bits with the uh, 3D sliders and all that kind of things before I start playing, just kind of seeing how things work. I realized the 3D slider doesn't really work well on the camera, so I went ahead and turned that back off because it was a lot crisper without the 3D on. I will say, though, however, if you do play this game and you're not wanting to use a um, like recording or anything like I'm doing, definitely um, play it in the 3D mode. It's a lot cooler and looks very crisp. Highly, highly recommend this game. It's definitely completable. It's not super hard like the original Mario's and everything like that. Um, definitely an easy game to get a hang of and all the controls. Definitely recommend this one. Super Mario Bros. 2, our new Super Mario Bros. 2 is a great one to um, look at and um, Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U is another great game if I had to recommend some I still have some other ones I still want to play, Super Mario U, Super Mario Wii, uh, the first new Super Mario Bros for the DS, a lot of games that I want to try out and play to see if they're um, great as well, but I've never actually had the time to go ahead and do so, but I figure I can bring them to my YouTube channel and do a bunch of playthroughs. I have played 3D Land before, as I kind of probably mentioned. Um, I do know most of where certain things are, the coins and how to help get the flags and all that, but you'll see me uh, make certain cuts here and there, and that was just to get the angles right and eliminate glares, get you able to see my gameplay as best as possible. Um, I was using my phone propped on a um, pillow to record everything, so it was really hard to make sure I was actually filming my gameplay, which you can still somewhat see me recording it here, but there I, I am kind of adjusting so you can see me uh, progressing throughout this World 1-1. Uh, 
yeah, please, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. Uh, hit the like button if you're excited for this playthrough. And as we move on forward throughout these episodes, they will get better quality and better everything like that as I get uh, better setups on all this stuff. Because like I said, I originally wanted an emulator, but uh, could not do so. But I'll try to comment through this like I would if I was actually playing the game um, for real and having my audio there and all that. But um, mostly I just want to get all that out of the way first. So as you see, I've now gained the Tanuki power. Tanuki? Tanuki? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not quite sure. Um, but I think that was one of the new powers for this was the Tanuki power. I know it was kind of featured before with the raccoon power or uh, leaf power in the previous games. Uh, but now it has, and I think, an official name in this game, and I might be incorrect on that, like I'm not a Mario expert on that, but hopefully I'm correct. I mean, it's shown in the logo that you see down below there in the Super Mario 3D Land, the tail, so. And I try my best on the bottom of my 3DS screen to show you my progress and where I'm at as best as I can, but I will, as I'm commentating, tell you where I am, what I've got, what I haven't done, have done, blah, 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 blah. So right now, I believe I have two of the three golden coins you need to collect in each and every world. Um, your task, main task to beat the game are, I mean, number one is complete all the worlds however you need to to get the, to the final flag and um, beat Bowser. That's task one. Task two is to collect all the golden flags. So if you touch the very tippy top of the flag, which you'll see Toad attempt right now um, on the screen, uh, if you touch the very tip where that gold little ball is, if you touch it, your flag will turn gold. That is task number one. You'll get a nice pretty little star if you get every single gold flag in every single world. Task number two is collecting all the gold coins. You'll see those little star gold coins that I'll collect throughout the game. There's three in each world. Um, and then what would make a total of what? There's like eight worlds per overall world because it's like world 1-1, one one, world 1-2. One like oh, each one of those have three gold coins in each one of those, if that makes some sense. Um, there's one right now. I'm collecting it right now. There it is. Collect three of those, um, you get another bright shiny star. Um, and that I believe is the three stars you can earn throughout the game to uh, fully complete it. Um, if you get all those tasks, you get a giant gold star over the world, showing that it's 100% complete. You got everything that you can physically get in that world. And you just continue moving forward, trying to do that as best you can. That's if you want to 100% complete the game. Um, like I said, we might be doing somewhat of that, but our main first task is going to be just doing a playthrough and just beating Bowser and all that stuff. And then we might debate on how many episodes it takes if we want to go back and collect all the gold coins, collect all the gold flags and all that kind of stuff to do 100% completion. But we'll debate on that as uh, we move on through. And like I said, you'll see those cuts every now and then where I just kind of had to uh, focus more on the gameplay. Sorry for the itch there. Just had to get that out of the way. As we go into World 1-1 uh, accidentally here, as I, I remember doing this and I had to cut back out of it because I realized that I actually went right back into the same world. Um, but, either way, yeah, so every um, episode from here on out will have hopefully a lot better quality, have a much better uh, recording stuff, but if not, I will continue trying to make it the best that I can. You guys get some fun times watching the gameplay of this video. Um, if you want to see some other great videos of these and get some other great hints and walkthroughs and all that, I definitely recommend going to IGN, um, IGN.com, and they've got great walkthroughs of this game. They usually do great. Um, GCC.com has a lot of stuff or stuff like that. Um, GameSpot. There's a bunch of websites you just probably just type in. Super Mario 3D Land, Health or Cheats or walkthroughs or anything get some more professional style but if you want to be here with me that's perfect i really do respect that and hope you guys will uh, really enjoy this series as i definitely have a lot of fun playing this game and everything like that and i definitely will get some game overs i'll get some deaths and i'll have some rage moments here and there but at the same time uh, as i progress through and record more i'll figure out what other way i want to do this i definitely We'll have to sadly always add the base camp after because of the fact I don't really have a way of emulating my 3DS straight to my computer. I don't have a capture card or a working 3DS emulator that would work with this. And if everybody, anybody out there does know how to help me with that, please let me know so I can do that because that would make this a lot easier. Um, there might be times where I just do go ahead and add the audio when I'm recording the gameplay and have my true audio and then just add my base cam later. 
Um, the only weird part about that is kind of commentating while I'm already commentating, and that just sounds a little weird, but I'm just gonna mess with some different stuff, see how I feel on things, but hopefully everything that I, uh, I'm dishing out to you guys, uh, you guys will enjoy and, uh, have fun with. So, I'm going to continue obviously here on the Let's Play, I'm just gonna continue commentating with things like that, and just whatever comes else into my magic head here. Um, but yeah. I decided between, uh, why I decided on this game was because I didn't want to do a game with the sequels. Because my other idea was doing Super Mario Bros. 2, like the new Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. But the same problem with what I, what I did with uh, Super Mario Land 2 and the Six Golden Coins playthrough, um, it was that, um, the first one I never beat, that's what I was trying to say. I never played, did anything with it, and... It just seemed weird to just jump right into the second one just because of the fact that I have beaten those or done things with those and know how to play those. Um, I ignored it with Super Mario Land 2 just because I know I, I have somewhat played Super Mario Land 1 and I remember how complicated it was. It's kind of similar to the original Super Mario Bros. games if those know what I'm talking about. Um, where they're super hard, it takes a lot of effort to get through worlds, and if you die, you start back at world 1-1. One -one. Whereas these later games, you start where you were, you were or you get a little game or game back five wise a little more helpful instead of restarting basically like the entire game um and all that so this one in super mario bros 2 um new super mario bros 2 for 3ds i play a lot of beating those games so i really wanted to do one of those like i said without playing the original super mario bros 1 for the ds and have beaten have beaten that i haven't even barely even really played that game it made me want to be like, okay, maybe I'll play that a little bit, see how I feel about that, and maybe bring that one to a live stream. I could even just, or not live stream, but an uh, episode or a playthrough or whatever, and I could just do that straight up. Like, just bring it straight to YouTube without even me playing it, that way I get kind of like a blind experience with that. I don't know, I'll kind of debate with that, but that's why I decided on this game, because it's like, you know, prequel to this. There's somewhat a sequel to this, but it's a completely different game, because there's Super Mario 3D Land and Super Mario 3D World. Two totally different games, two totally different storylines, but they both have that 3D title in it, per se, so um, they are similar in that regard, but otherwise they have nothing else in common. But, um, either way, but yeah, so I decided on this one because it had no prequel sequels, um, anything else that would make sense to just do a playthrough of this one, um, seeing that I have beaten it but know most of the game throughout, and um, hopefully you guys would enjoy a fun a little Mario series that we can uh, play through and have some fun with as I try my best to beat the game because like I said you're going to see how much of a moderate gamer that we are because we're not experts we're just enjoying the game and having fun and we're going to die we're going to have struggles and it's going to be some good times for sure and I know here in a little bit I'm about to die I only remember this because I remember seeing this coin um, and I remember jumping off a ledge and dying. I just remember this, and it's gonna come here in about less than a bit. I'm definitely gonna die over on the left, part, left side of the screen. This mirror image is really messing me up. So if I wave my right hand, it looks like it's my left hand. Uh, right. But yeah, here in a second, I'm going to die on the left side of the screen by jumping off a ledge. This is how much I know. Oh yeah, I forgot I did try this too. Okay, look. I don't get the last one. But, um, other things going on throughout our uh, channel. We're going to have our next playthrough of Pokemon Platinum go up on the channel. Uh, we have a How to Play of Pokemon Tournament for both the Wii U and Switch. I did uh, How to Play Zone both those. Um, so you can understand the controls. There's the death I was referring to. Uh, <laughs> do -do -do. Anyway, but yeah, we're going to have a how, play, how to Play to that. I want to do another How to Play of. Um, I'm thinking to do Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8, um, which you can say Mario Kart 8 works for also Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, kind of same controls, and all over Mario Kart's in a sense. Um, we'll have similar controls all the way for, I mean, if you go previous to the Wii, then it's going to have a little bit different controls because you don't have the um, remote as much, but um, still, as you go on later, you um, get some additional controls. But we're going to mostly discuss Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 8, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, maybe Mario Kart well, Mario Kart 7, I guess, can be included in that mix. They're all the same controls, um, but it will be titled Mario Kart 8, um, just because of that fact, but um, I'll probably include all that. Or I could just call it the How to Play Mario Kart and go over all the Mario Kart 
Persona Hunt, there, there's a lot of debate on that, but I'm sure that's going to be the next top play that I'm going to bring to the channel. Um, this obviously series I'll continue recording and having uh, episodes to, and um, I still link with my wife. Uh, it's going to be to the channel, hopefully um, starting next week. Uh, we're debating between either a Diamond and Pearl Soul Link or a Hard Gold Soul Silver. Um, we said Diamond and Pearl because then we both are going into it completely blind, no knowledge of Gen 4 in any way, and having to figure it out together. And then we also mentioned Hard Gold Soul Silver because I love Gen 2 the most. I mean, Gen, I'm a Gen 1er basically in a sense. I mean, I love other generations, but like, I prefer Gen 1, love Gen 1's Pokemon, but the overall best game to me is Gen 2. Um, so, that's why I said Hard Gold Soul Silver because it's like, okay, it's. Yes, it's Gen 2, and I love Gen 2 of the game, but it's going to be still new in a sense because I've never played the remakes of Gold and Silver. Um, so I think it'd be a, still a kind of somewhat blind experience throughout uh, because they add obviously a new little task in there, and it's a little more into a 2D format, 3D format, all that great stuff. But that's enough about uh, channel stuff for right now. Let me know how you guys out there are doing today. I would really love to know how your day is going. My day is going so far so good. My wife just left for work. My daughter is taking a nap. And I am recording a Mario series, obviously, right now. Um, yeah, I'm doing great. I hope you guys out there are doing fantastically fantastic. Let me know in the comments how your day is going. And if you guys have any questions for me or anybody else here at The Modern Gamer, let me know. And if you don't know who all is in The Modern Gamer, I can go either quickly over it or you can just go ahead and hit this <laughs> very much is messing up a uh, little card up there that'll go into our revamp video that introduces everybody that can potentially show up in this um, channel. But I'm the main protagonist and the president of this channel. There's also Brian and BJ who are the side it's protagonist, sidekicks, or whatever you want to say of this channel that show up about once a week, once a month, depending on how often we see each other. They're my nephews or my wife's nephews, however you want to word that. I claim them obviously as my own nephews. And then, like I said, got my wife, my daughter, and then a few other side guests past those points. So, but if you want to see all those people out and know who they are, go check out the revamp video. It will uh, let you know all a little bit about each one of us and all that. It's not going to give you 100% obviously because we had to keep the video somewhat short, but if you want to general understanding what kind of games we're into and things like that, please do so. And I will um, do a little special at the very end of this clip. I'm going to show you a comparison of my actual true Mario 3D Land save versus my wife's Mario 3D Land save, and you'll see how much better she is at Mario games than I am, or ever will be, because uh, she's a beast at these games. Um, she's always been uh, really great with uh, Mario type games, and I think she'd be great with like uh, Pokemon and stuff like that. She has a little more problems with like your uh, combat style, your like Smash Brothers and Pokemon where they have a little more advanced controls, but she'd be always willing to learn them, and I think she would learn pretty quickly knowing how uh, she is. But, uh, I'm super interested to continue to our Game Boy here. We are on World One X3. I actually haven't been paying attention because I've been too worried about talking to you guys and not really paying attention to the gameplay, but hopefully you guys understand that entire big film with uh, just me talking it out here and not really focusing hardcore on the gameplay like I do with um, my other Mario series or um, certain other stuff where I had to focus on the gameplay and not so much on the commentary. This where I can focus straight on commentary and somewhat go back to the gameplay. I remember this part specifically because I get really annoyed with the water that it didn't want to agree with me. I kept pressing left, but I was going right. And whatever. I'm going to me. They want to point to the left, so I'm going to the right, I'm going to the right. I'm going to flip that in the next episode, I'm going to flip this game. I'm going to figure out how to do it. Um, because it trips me up, but I don't, I don't like it. I gotta think opposite. I know it's not the most complicated thing in the world, but you know what I mean. But, you know, I keep saying but a lot too, that's... I no goody, I no goody, good, good, good things. Um, other things that I want to bring hopefully to the channel today, I want to do a poogie chat and get that back to this then. I think I looked it up yesterday, like nine months since our last Poke Chat ep uh, episode, and it's been a year since the last time uh, Cynical and Froggy had done an episode together, um, which is crazy too long. Apologize for it and all that. It was just never got together. That was things became focuses. Obviously, I had first daughters, deaths, and all that. And so I'm not going to go into all that kind of stuff, but. Uh, 
just going to work forward and actually bring the stuff that we say we're going to bring you and be consistent and have some fun with you guys. So hopefully you guys are super stoked for uh, some crazy content. And another thing I just noticed I'm saying a lot, which is a no goody thingy. I'm uh, yeah, I just did it, I just did it, I just did it. Because I'm trying to like overly think my conversation and it's not a good thing. If I just talk, I'm good. But, yes. So, I'm a communications major, so it bugs me. It's a big, like, kind of no-no to try to do your uhs and buts and whatever when you're trying to just figure your way around a conversation, so it mentally bugs me because that was what I was taught. But at the same time, I'm human. I'm just going to be me, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And, uh, I just did it. Just did it. Literally just did life right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. I, I, I don't know. But, yeah. It's, far, it's, a, it's a big communication. No-no. But, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Also, like I said, let me know in those comments whether you prefer me with or without glasses. I'll bring them back real quick just so you can see me with the glasses. Also, let me know on the facial hair. I've actually had different facial hair looks throughout my channel history. Uh, some of them you won't be able to fully see throughout, but let me know if you like the, what I've got going on now. I usually used to rock out where it was just the, um, just the beard part. I hadn't done, like, the full, like, what they call, like, the chin strap look ever. And then like mustache and things like that, but I definitely don't want just mustache. It, it to me, it looks kind of creepierish. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. And I used to be baby phase for basically like 22 plus years, but then I started growing this out to add a little bit more age to it. In case you're wondering, I'm 26 years old. My birthday is in October. It's actually coming up. New birthday. But it's enough about me. Um, we are here in the Bowser world. This is Bowser world. I'm in the last world right now, finally. I, I, this is why I need to just do gameplay. Don't pay attention to gameplay right now. That was kind of a creepy look, too. I just saw it like over in my face cam. Uh, we fight our video camera thing, whatever application. And I kind of saw like how big my eyes got. It was very creepy. But I just died in the game. I have 13 lives, too. It seems like a lot. That's another great thing about this Mario game. Is that, like, other Mario games, it's very easy to gain lives. Because there's a lot of coins, a lot of bad guys to kill, lots of one-ups to gain by either finding a mineral level or capturing a flag. A lot of great stuff to keep yourself alive. So I'm getting those game overs. And, like I said, with having it fully, fully restart the game, you get to continue from wherever you are. Definitely love those type of whatever. And this um, is a just a single player Mario game. There's not multiplayer for this one, but the Mario 3D World game is a multiplayer game. And me and my wife and the nephews have to play that one. It's super fun, super addicting. I definitely will uh, keep you busy for days. So I highly recommend that one to go try out, other than this one. If you're wanting more of a strong personal experience, this one and super Mar the new Super Mario Bros. 2, definitely great games to go and grab and play. I love dodging giant fireballs. Try to compensate a little bit of the game delay, right? I mean, you should, right? This is probably somewhat, but people actually do is compensate on the game delay. So we see a giant flumpy try to uh, splash us. Oh, well, that voice was nice. I just said that. But yeah, we are for sure on the last uh, Bowser World I do uh, remember this part. So we're nearing the end of our World 1 extravaganza. Like I said, I'm going to include that uh, clip of me versus my wife's gameplay stuff for some uh, fun so you guys can compare uh, how good of Mario gamers we are. So we're still not gonna be experts. We're gonna be missing some stuff and all that. Cool. By no means expert gamers or anything like that. We just love having fun and playing games. And I don't know why I'm using the word diddly so This is where I kind of like the 3D effect would be really cool because those fireballs are coming straight in your face. This game and Pokemon Y, I believe, uh, or X or whatever, are really good with the 3D effects. Smash kind of works with it, but it's not the greatest. Uh, I'm trying to think what else kind of works great with those 3D effects. Uh, darts up, soccer up, those are two I can think of. And there's specific ones in the eShop that are meant for the 3D aspect, but definitely ahead of its time for the 3DS, what it's trying to do with the 3D aspects and all that, but it's still been the 
the greatest. So we see Bowser turn out to be just a Koopa with a little leaf that burns sadly into the fire. I would definitely would have loved to gotten that little leaf thing. What is that power up? I mean, it's called Snooki, obviously, but what is the power up called? It's like Fire Fire gives you Fire Mario. Super Mushroom makes you Super Mario. What's the. Let's just call it Snooki Power or Leaf Power. Or what's the official name? I obviously don't know. Neat. And there's a case where you don't get the gold flag, by the way. This turns out to be your red logo. Uh, and I believe. I might be wrong on this, I might be fully wrong on this. This game, you can't play as anyone else other than Mario, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there are certain games where you can switch between like Mario, Luigi, the Two Toads, Peach, blah 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 blah. 3D World for sure, you got all those options that I just named with a couple of extra hidden options that I'm not going to spoil right now. But a lot of cool character um, options as we're going to get a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's oh, it's opposite about me. Sending out some Koopas with some magical leaf powers. I mean, that's always beautiful. And Mario's gonna run. Not that he shouldn't already been alarmed and worried because uh, his princess has been kidnapped. Let's go. So, here I have a Sam in World 2 1. And like I said, I always wanted to keep it to where we do one world per episode for just to overall great reason, so I'm going to go ahead and do the save and quit option to go ahead and exit out of World Dash 2 Dash 1, and we'll do continue World 2 whenever we come back and do Super Mario 3D Land again. That will be episode 2. Like I said, each episode, think of that as the world we're going to te technically do unless we just have some issues and things like that. So unless we have some problems with the world or where it takes a little bit longer, we have a bunch of deaths or anything like that, that might be the only reason why we don't have an episode per thing. I'm going to go ahead and go into those save files, like I said, a little bit earlier. So here's mine right now, as it's going to tell me about Special World. So there's my World 1, Stragus, and those are those gold stars I was talking about where you see World 1 down there on the bottom screen. has a little gold star, that means you've 100% completed it. You'll see that all in World 2. If you got every single gold star on the bottom of the screen, you see there on the very top of the world, it will show a gold star as well. And there's where you start seeing some missing stars. Um, I have World 1, 2, and 5. Those are the ones that I have 100% completed. Otherwise, all the rest have stuff missing. And there's my gold star progress right there. And I'm going to go ahead and obviously hit the same quit, and I'm going to go over to my wife's one. Is going to have every single one except for, I believe, two. She doesn't have the last world, world eight, and I believe world four. She doesn't have all the um, gold stars that are on the top of the DS screen there. I'm pretty sure those are the two that she's missing are world four and world eight. I lied, it's world five, and she is missing two stars there. And world eight, she is missing three stars. So that's all she's missing is five total stars. I'm missing like 20 and she's missing five. There shows your comparison of how BA she is at Super Mario 3D Land. But um, like I said, this is going to conclude soon. This recording is going to eventually move back to the beginning. So I'm going to have to wrap it up real quick. So you hear my clock off in the background. There's the loop, by the way. And yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in for episode one. Like I said, leave that like button. It means so much. Hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And hopefully you're hyped for more episodes of 3D Land to come. Like I said, it's going to be better quality, better content. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, whenever that might be. Love you guys. Kaka. -ka.